One of the greatest inventors to have ever lived was that of a Serbian-Croatian inventor known as Nikola Tesla, of whom developed the framework for modern-day electrical engineering during his time with breakthroughs in understanding the electromagnetic spectrum and the formation of alternating current as compared to direct current, of which was the prominent use of electricity during his time. Oddly enough, looking back at his over 300 patents, Strange devices appear to take the forefront that Nikola Tesla had invented during his time that people are only now taking notice of in the modern day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five lost Nikola Tesla inventions that the inventor himself made back in the early 1900s that are only now being remembered. Tesla's UFO and Anti-Gravity Technology Conspiracy theorists have often cited Tesla as being the father of strange science fiction technologies given his incredible track record of developing emerging technologies. However, it appears that one such conspiracy theory surrounding Nikola Tesla and unidentified flying objects seems to have entered plausibility with the recent discovery made by Rare Earth of a patent that describes a flying machine that looks similar to modern-day interpretations of flying saucers. The patent includes detailed information such as the use of what can only be described as flat-screen televisions on the inside of the craft to allow the pilots to utilize a 360-degree view inside a cockpit that contained no windows for outside viewing. This would be accomplished with the use of cameras placed all around the flying saucer as well as a bunch of other sensitive equipment capable of gathering data to be used by the pilots inside. Although the legitimacy of the patent has still been put into question and is debated to this day, if the patent is genuine in its nature, it could point evidence to secret government projects that have been in the works since the early 1900s. Tesla's Artificial Tidal Wave Although aircraft are the main tools of war in the modern day, during the time of Tesla, it was the naval might of a country that was seen as the biggest worry of any potential enemy nation. This led to the inventor focusing on potential weapons of mass destruction that would be capable of destroying any naval militaries via the use of an artificial tidal wave. Discussed in a wide variety of letters, Nikola Tesla had predicted that he would be able to take down the navy of any country using what he referred to as tell automatons of which were large aircraft that would pilot several tons of highly explosive material before diving underwater to create a large underwater explosion capable of creating a collapsible bubble of gas underneath the water and create an explosion that would lead to the creation of waves 100 feet high spanning over the distance of a full mile. There is no evidence, however, that Tesla was able to create these tell automatons what they would have looked like or what a blast radius would have most likely done. The idea of the weapon intrigued Russian and American militaries regardless and led to investigative use when testing underwater nuclear weapons back in 1940 and all the way up to past the 1950s. The Tower of Wardenclyffe Being funded by the banking investor JP Morgan, Nikola Tesla was essentially offered a nearly limitless fund of investment backing to create what he himself described as the connection of the global mind that sounds more accurately like the prediction of the modern day internet. Tesla believed that he could create a form of wireless electricity that could tap into the electromagnetic energy the earth naturally generated to be used to power everyone's electrical devices as long as the device had a built-in transmitter to receive the massive amounts of wireless electricity. To accomplish this feat, Tesla planned on building a massive tower that would later be referred to as the Tower of Wardenclyffe, to bounce a sufficient amount of electricity off of the ionosphere of the planet and tap into the massive amount of energy stored in the electromagnetic field surrounding our planet and meet the energy needs of everyone around the world free of charge. Unfortunately, as his tower was nearing construction and the fruit of his work and theory was within his grasp, J.P. Morgan called for an emergency meeting with Nikola Tesla to discuss a problem that had arisen. Over that past week, J.P. Morgan became aware of the fact that another inventor known as Marconi had stolen Nikola Tesla's design of the radio and other various patents and was made furious by this. 
as his investor, Morgan was far more concerned with profit than Tesla and was concerned with the massive amount of money he had poured into the inventor with nothing to show for it. When Morgan threatened to cut Tesla's funding, the inventor found no other way to satiate the man than to show him the tower and tell him what he was working on. Tesla claimed that it did not matter that Marconi stole the designs of the radio since his new invention would change the world, that the tower of Wardenclyffe would be able to tap into the power of the electromagnetic field and be able to grant free electricity to every individual around the world. After hearing this sentiment, Morgan completely cut off all funding to Tesla and told him that he was not going to help him fund an idea that was completely unprofitable. Shortly thereafter, the tower was torn down and his work was deemed incomplete. The Tesla Drone Technology Regarded as the world's first drone, Nikola Tesla constructed a small mechanical boat and built a wireless transmitter inside of the device that could tap into a specific frequency of which he called the ether that we now know in the modern day as the electromagnetic spectrum, or more specifically, radio waves. He then built a remote control device that could manipulate the boat and cause it to move around and float on the water as if it were a fully manned crew. To demonstrate his creation, Nikola Tesla took his boat out to the electrical exhibition in 1898 and made a powerful demonstration that drew a crowd from all around. He placed the boat into a nearby pond and told the crew that the boat had a bunch of tiny people inside that could hear them, and so the crowd began shouting commands that could change the boat as the tiny people supposedly listened. Of course, Tesla had the remote control in his hands as many people came out to see this spectacle. After the demonstration was over, Tesla then told the crowd that there were not any tiny people inside and that he controlled the boat using nothing more than electricity and the control of the electromagnetic spectrum. Upon hearing this proclamation of mysticism, many of the people in the crowd claimed the whole event to be a hoax and forced Tesla to open the boat to prove that there were not any tiny people inside. When he did, the crowd was even more baffled at the idea of the radio wave and believed that the Serbian inventor had control over magic and telepathy. It was through the use of devices that Nikola Tesla had often claimed that he could develop remote-controlled robotics or that military helicopters could be equipped with such technologies to allow whole nations to fight with robots in place of human beings to prevent the loss of life. The Mysterious FBI Seizure On the 7th of January 1943, Tesla was found in his hotel room collapsed on the floor with a suspected death caused by coronary thrombosis at the age of 86 while still in New York. Though many have often argued his true cause of death, few doubt the newly declassified evidence of the Federal Bureau of Investigation going into Tesla's hotel room shortly after his death and retrieving all of the inventor's notes and papers under the ownership of the United States government. Given the context of the year, at the height of the Second World War, the United States government had heard of the claims that Nikola Tesla had invented a weapon that he referred to as a death ray, and feared that such a weapon in the hands of their enemies could prove to change the tide of the war dramatically. It is for this reason that the United States military claimed that the retrieval and study of the inventor's notes were of the highest issue of national security and led to the FBI seizure of more than two truckloads of notes written by the inventor. Even more peculiar, however, the United States government would send an engineer by the name of Dr. John G. Trump, the current president, Donald Trump's uncle, to investigate the claims of the death ray and retrieve the supposed briefcase containing the weapon from the Hotel New Yorker. After almost 10 years of legal battle, Tesla's nephew, Sava Kosanovich, was declared the rightful owner of all of Nikola Tesla's estate and was provided the government retrieved materials and notes sent to his house in Belgrade, Serbia. Oddly enough, even though the FBI recorded roughly 80 trunks of the notes that were recovered from the hotel, only 60 trunks were sent to Belgrade, leaving many to assume that the remaining 20 trunks are still being hidden by the United States government to this day. But what do you all think of these lost inventions created by Nikola Tesla that rival modern-day inventions made during the early 1900s? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below. 
and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.